You are watching another episode of Shane Solomon Meets, brought to you by the Cornwall Channel. I'm your host, Shane Solomon. Today, I'm meeting the very beautiful Lucy Cox from the Academy. So it's been a long time coming. It's great to have you here at the studio. What's your initial thoughts upon arrival? Do you know what? I'm really impressed with this place. I, I think seeing it the other side of the screen is so nice to be behind the scenes and actually see where the magic happens. It's Indeed. lovely. It's yeah. going to be beautiful when it's finished. It really is. It's going to be great. <laughs> How many years have you been saying that? Uh, uh, many, 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 many years. <laughs> so I'm absolutely delighted you're here. You're absolute powerhouse. I'm so delighted to introduce you to my contacts here on LinkedIn. 2023, a new year. What does it hold for you, Lucy? What do you see this next year for you in the business? 2023 for us is the year of action. We have labelled this as the year of action. So we have been running our business now for coming up for two years. And we have used those two years to really refine what we do. And we have got to a place where we have such a huge advocacy base behind what we're doing. We've got some clients who have just had the most remarkable transformations. And we are so proud of the products that we have created. So this year is all now about just creating as many impacts as we possibly can do this year and to create as many ripple effects from the work that we do. So tell me, what type of people do you look for to work with? What kind of niche? Is there any particular industry? Is it CEO level? Is it, you know, what sort of people are you looking for to work with? To be honest, we, we work with a broad range of people. I think the, the most common denominator within them is that they are very people orientated. So we're looking for organisations that it's not just about developing technical skills, it's developing those softer skills around mindset, emotional resilience and team cohesion. And team cohesion not necessarily being the traditional air quote team building. Mm -hmm. um, this is around, you know, really connecting with people human to human because we, we behave in a different way, we're empathetic in a different way we communicate in different ways when we really see our teammates as human beings and a lot of the the group work that we take into organizations is very much about dropping that veil and being able to just bring those people together we were talking in the green room earlier about you know people that i meet who say oh, i don't need coaching and things like that and i was saying to you how i know some of the most successful people in my circles still having coaching What's the reason for that? And what's your answer to those people? So oh, I don't need coaching. I'm fine on my own. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Because, you know, you, you would imagine those people at the most senior level of the industries, they've got all the answers, right? Mm. And it's, it's as the saying goes, and I love it, is if I had six hours to chop down a tree, I would spend four hours sharpening the saw. And it's this, this idea that, you know, we, we have to keep making sure that we as leaders are in tip-top condition, that we are making the right decisions, that those decisions are coming from a place of non-bias, that we're not protecting ourselves emotionally, we're not coming from a place of fear. And ultimately, we're, we're all human beings. Our brains are designed to keep us safe, not happy. And that can skew things. You know, we're, we're biological, hormonal, emotional beings. And to have somebody along side to just make sure that we're, we're sticking on the right track mm. um, we, we were talking before weren't we around the fact that we all hold these belief systems and belief systems are a little bit like a shade of sunglasses that we all wear so my shade of sunglasses is very different to your shade of sunglasses and that shade is determined from your past experiences your upbringing your culture maybe from um, childhood experiences it might be from you know television shows that you watch your attachment styles there's so many different feed-ins <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, to what colours your belief system. But that belief system is your truth. That is absolutely how you see the world and you would never dare question it because it's fact. In your opinion, it's fact. And having a coach alongside you just helps to play that devil's advocate, to help you to see things from different perspectives and to really challenge what is truth and what isn't. And those people who are hugely successful really understand, they have that level of self-awareness mm -hmm. to say, do you know what? My perspective, the way I see the world can sometimes be flawed. Indeed. Now, I want to talk a bit about you as a person because yep. again people buy people we hear that all the time so you're here in Cornwall you're based in Cornwall but you look after clients outside of Cornwall yes. but you know what's a who is Lucy Cox then kind of you know, your, your, your mum for example you know yeah 
Yeah. I, I play many different roles. I have very different hats. So as you say, I'm, I'm a mum to two beautiful babies. Um, and I now run this business. I, I co-own a second business as well, which you're aware of. We went on Dragon's Den a few years ago. I was going to bring that up, but you beat me to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm also a singer. And we had the most hilarious encounter the other day, didn't we? You're going to mention I'm, I'm going to really embarrass Shane yeah, now with this go. one. <laughs> it's fine. You can. You can. <laughs> So alongside running the business, I am a singer in a band. And this is a shared history that, that we've got. Obviously, mm. you, you've got a background in music as mm, well. Mm. And you, you came to one of our gigs, didn't you? I did, and I, which was I, phenomenal. <laughs> I do remember the performance was excellent from you in the band. But but Shane's not used to seeing me in a different context, are you, Shane? No, Especially not, outside, not in, no. in glittery hot pants. No. So um, it, it was it was a moment. And I'd had like a kind of all day kind of Sunil Store Associates business lunch. And I was... Two sheets to the wind, to be honest. <coughs> Were you? I yes. hadn't noticed. And of course, Lucy came up to say hi, and I was totally yes. I didn't know where I was or who I was. So, um, but I certainly do now. But uh, <laughs> it was a cracking night, by the way. So yes, you're a singer. You're an amazing singer. Thank you. Um, and of course, yeah, I was going to bring up about the Dragon's Den thing. Yeah. And how was that for you? I mean, a lot of people watching this will think, oh, I'd like to go on Dragon's Den. Would you do it again? Yeah, oh yes. Yeah, absolutely in a heartbeat. It's 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 about the strategy, you know, and, and we went on it very much as an as a business that didn't have a huge amount of capital resource to mm -hmm. be able to promote and market ourselves. So you just get creative and it's actually how can we reach the, the widest possible audience on a minimal budget? And one of the, the biggest assets that we have is us and our personality and our ability to go out and um I, I use the, the word entertain. I, I don't necessarily mean it in that performative way, but um, I think we can come across as quite approachable, nice people. And so we said, well, let's, let's do Dragon's Den. Let's see how that goes. Um, but I, what's really interesting, we, we, we were saying this before, weren't we, about, about making sure that you live a rich life and you've, you've got so many stories to tell. And what's lovely about the academy, the, the, the business that we're running at the moment, is that it's a culmination of all of these different parts of ourselves a culmination of all the experiences that we've had uh, in our lifetime that enables us to bring this rich knowledge and experience of going through things like Dragon's Den and feeling terrified and finding the strategies to really overcome those moments where you're so emotionally overcome. Um, how do we do that? How do we behave in those situations mm. and what can we do? And it's, it's just lovely to reflect back and go, actually, yes, that worked as a business strategy and a marketing strategy at that moment of time. But what that's given us now with this organization is the ability to be able to bring those lessons to more people who are maybe having to do some things that are going to test their, their nerve a little bit. Indeed. And the Academy, uh, I've got your card right here. Very clever bit of branding there. I've got to mention you, you come up with that or? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Oh, I, yeah. I, I see what you did there. I'm going to get a shot of that on the camera. I don't know if it comes the up. The Academy, the school of me. Yeah, the school of me. The director of transformation is Lucy Cox. And uh, I strongly advise that you connect with this lovely lady. Now, networking. We both have a love yeah. for networking. I know you network a lot. Is there any plans for 2023 to do any networking for you as well? Or are you going to take it easy and just sit back and go, no, I've done a net No, my, my word for this year is action. We are all about getting out there and networking. Mm -hmm. uh, the majority of our client base is, is outside of Cornwall. I think we're going to be doing a lot more within Cornwall this year. We have clients across Europe. We have some clients in America as well. And it's, it's looking at the different ways in which we can network um and i you know one of the the benefits that's come out of the whole covid pandemic is that digitally we're so much more connected now so absolutely a huge amount more networking no conversations no business right so we, we need to be out there and having those conversations with people someone once said to me that a full diary equals a full bank account so <laughs> if you've got an empty diary you're not having a you know full bank account ever so you know mine is absolutely rammed for this year i'm hoping they're <laughs> right i'm hoping <laughs> they're right you're looking forward to a good christmas this year then. absolutely it's gonna be <laughs> yeah. absolutely great and i'm looking forward to treating jay he's been with us for a year we was talking before we started filming and i'm gonna treat him real good and take him to spoons you know and yeah. just go real crazy yeah. nice this is gonna be real crazy <laughs> so so business in cornwall we're in cornwall yep um, I've had the opportunity to move out of Cornwall. In fact, we do work outside of Cornwall, very much like yourself. We do more work in Cornwall, but we're very lucky to be here, aren't we? I mean, we've got some great things to shout about. Yep. We've got, of course, the spaceport that's going on. We've yep. got the lithium mining that's attracting a lot of attention. We've got views to die for, super fast broadband connectivity in most places. And where there's not, there's other companies like Wildernet, um, who is installing 
you know, super fast broadband. Yeah. We're very lucky to be here, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. Wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Um, I think, you know, we live really close to the beach. We're, we're quite close to, to Paul's Town. Uh, we have a dog, we have a young family, and there is absolutely nowhere else I'd love to run my business. And how fantastic that, you know, I can convert my garage. We've got the super fast broadband. We've got, mm. you know... Even down to the the transport links outside of Cornwall Indeed. as well. well it's Newquay just, Airport. Yeah, Newquay Cornwall Airport is absolutely huge for us. Yeah, yeah. and the, the the majority of my business is is run online. You know, we 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 use a lot of video conferencing um, resources to be able to connect with people, and it it works really effectively. So I I genuinely believe Shane that we have the best of both worlds. I think we have this beautiful landscape, but we have the technology to be able to you know bring ourselves to the world, which is really important. Indeed. Well, look, I could talk to you all day. I can't <laughs> because I like to keep these to a, a, a length where you can get it on LinkedIn natively as opposed to just YouTube. Is there anything you'd like to mention while we're sat here today that I have not prompted you about or something you'd just like to say? Oh, by the way, is there anything that I haven't prompted you that you'd like to mention? I, I think maybe picking up <clears> on what we were talking about before around, you know, what what is it that we do at the academy? Because mm. having spent the last 13 years as a business coach, people were coming to me asking, you know, what actions do I need to take to get better results? And what I found and, and what the academy is, is built on is it's not necessarily the actions you need to take, it's what you bring to those actions. This is why two people can be doing the same job, but getting very, very different results. And the thing that I want to leave with people is to really consider what your thought hygiene is and thought hygiene is you know whatever the thoughts you're having are generating the feelings the feelings that you're having are bringing that energy to the actions that you're taking if you are sat here thinking I don't have enough of this I never have enough time I'm not that good at this people are going to judge mm -hmm. me the energy that you're going to bring is going to be very different to somebody going people just need to hear what I've got to say I'm going to be so proud of myself for doing this thing so really be mindful of the thoughts that you're bringing into any situation because I promise you it will be an absolute game changer for people Thought hygiene, what Thought a great hygiene. way of putting it. I'm going to get it on a t-shirt, I think. I, I think it's great, yeah, <laughs> yeah, hashtag, hashtag that. Well, look, Lucy, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm hoping that sometime along this year we can grab a duet somewhere. Let's do it. I that am would be so down cool. for that. We'll have to find something that's easy for my vocal range, you know, going up against these monster singers. But I'd like to do that. Okay, all right. But uh, thank you so much for taking the effort to come up here today. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. And um, yeah, we'll catch up perhaps later in the year, probably at the Christmas do. We'll do a Christmas special. But that's it. So if you're not already connected to Lucy, make sure you do so. I'll make sure that she's tagged in this post. But for myself, thank you very much for watching and listening. And don't forget, if you know anyone doing anything remarkable in Cornwall, please drop me an email, shane at cornwallchannel.co.uk. My thanks as always to Jay Kennett for producing this show. And we will see you next time.